hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber welcome aboard my name is Whitney and if you are already a subscriber welcome back so today is Tuesday and today's video is going to be different so today is going to be a cook with me video so I was thinking on today that every Tuesday I'm going to do a, a um a cook with me video so if I'm rather going to cook something simple or I'm going to try new recipes or just you know whatever it is that I feel like that I want to eat on a Tuesday and it's not going to be taco Tuesday every Tuesday so it's going to be different things so I'm trying to um, as you know build content so I'm just trying to come up with different videos that I could do throughout the week so I decided that Tuesday will be the day that I will actually cook dinner I really don't do much cooking right now but we're gonna change that up but anyways enough babbling so on today's menu is Rotel now y'all know that Rotel is bomb like if you haven't had Rotel then you are missing out on life but anyways Rotel uh, it's pretty much it's it's a dip well you'll see what it is when I start to make it but anyhow there's so many different recipes so many different in ingredients that you can use for Rotel that everybody likes I have my specifics of what I like and what I use so what I use and what I like you don't necessarily have to use but if you don't I mean you're missing out I mean this is, is and, and it's simple I mean it's only literally three um, ingredients that you need so without further ado if you want to see how I make my Rotel and if you're ready to start these Tuesday cook with me's then keep on watching all right guys so first things first we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands to make sure that our hands are nice and clean before we start to cook uh, before we start to get into anything so we'll just go ahead and do that and I apologize I know I didn't have my camera the angle that it needed to be but I guess it worked out for the most part. Alright guys here are the three main ingredients that I use for my Rotel which is ground chuck, the Rotel and an eight ounce of cream cheese. Again there are a variety of different recipes of how you can make your Rotel but this is what I like to use. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the stove on, get the pan warmed up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ground chuck. And I'm going to just open that up, and now I use about half of this ground chuck. I don't use a lot, probably not even half, just as much as I desire, because I am the only one that's actually eating this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and just put as much as I desire into the pan. And from there, I'll just go ahead and let it cook, and we'll, we'll move forward. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this ground chuck chopped up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I like my ground chuck pretty diced up. I don't like any kind of stringiness in my hamburger meat, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finally chop up this ground chuck. All right, so time for the seasoning. So what I'm gonna use is just some seasoned salt here. Just kind of sprinkle it all over the ground beef just as much as you desire and then from there I'm going to use some garlic powder just a little bit of taste of garlic and now some people may use taco seasoning I mean again that is your preference but these are just the season seasonings that I like to use and I'm just going to mix that all together and continue to cook the ground beef So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my strainer. I'm going to go ahead and get this hamburger meat drained. And then from there we will be moving on into my favorite part, which is mixing all the ingredients together. But I'm just going to go ahead and just pour all that in. And then we will be moving on to the best part. All right, so moving on to my favorite part of this recipe, the best part of this recipe, which is the cream cheese. 
So pretty much you just need an eight ounce. Now you can use half of this if you don't want, I guess, too much of it, but I really love this um, cream cheese in the road tail and you can't necessarily taste the cream cheese. So don't be afraid. It's not gonna taste like Cool Whip or something, but it's definitely good. It definitely blends in with this recipe. I did start off using half, but then eventually I went back and I just used the rest of the cream cheese that I had put away. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this chopped up and add it into the ground chuck. All right, so the last ingredient we're gonna go ahead and put in is the rotel. So you don't have to necessarily use the entire can of the rotel unless you desire to do so. I do not, I only use about half um, of the rotel. Again, like if you have a bigger portion of family, you can use the whole thing, or if you really love the diced tomatoes and just the rotel ingredient, then you can add the whole can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, just um, half of the can to the ground beef, the cream cheese, and just add that on top. And I do have the stove on medium, just kind of, just so that the cream cheese can go ahead and melt a little bit. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to just mix things together, turn it up a little bit, and get this rotel rolling. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to mix this up as the cream cheese begins to melt and you all will see the finished product once it's all done. Alright guys, so finally this is what you get once the cream cheese and everything is mixed together. Y'all, this is so good. So, so good. So this is pretty much my little recipe for my Rotel. Now these are just a few things that I add on the side. I have my chips, I've got sour cream, I've got shredded cheese and nacho cheese. But you can pretty much add whatever it is that you desire. You can dress it up like a taco or whatever, but those are just the things that I like to use. All right, so now it is time for the taste test. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this to make sure that everything is right, just how I like it. And as y'all can see my facial expression, y'all, it is flame. So yeah, that is pretty much my recipe for my Rotel. This is my dinner. This could be for any kind of event, holiday, or just whatever you wanna eat it for. So that's pretty much all I've got.
right, so this concludes this video. I just put a movie in and now I am just enjoying this simple and easy rotel recipe. I definitely will leave everything in the description box below if you all are interested. Give this video a thumbs up. Definitely stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for next Tuesday for Tasty Tuesday to see what else is on the menu. But I do have more upcoming videos and vlogs. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Bye.